welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as a machine learning based approach for wine quality prediction which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project basically wine is a popular drink which is being used by the humans all over the world the property of the wine is different from the other drink because whenever the wine gets older the taste of the wine is also good but it will be expensive so the quality of the wine is measured based on the some important parameters such as like free sulfur dioxide volatile acidity citric acid and residual sugar like this so the traditional way of the wine quality assessment takes some time because of identifying these parameters so in this paper the authors have proposed the prediction of wine quality which is good or bad using the machine learning approach here in this paper the authors have used logistic regression and support vector machine but we are not going to use the same algorithm so we are going to implement the machine learning based approach for wine quality prediction using the random forest classifier as our proposed algorithm and model and the trial accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and the test accuracy that we have achieved is 90 percentage and the data set that they have used is winho verdi data set and here you can see the block diagram of the methodology and the parameters of it Now before execution, make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the Python and the library is installed in it. So just copy the source code location, go to your command prompt. Now go to the source code location, type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes. So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I am going to Firefox, just paste this URL and click enter. And if the page is not loaded properly, just clear the history. And now you can see the home screen and welcome to the project with the project title a machine learning based approach for wine quality prediction. So just click the login menu and now it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button. And once the login is successful, it will be showing the login success message and click OK. Now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set. So just click this browse button and go to the project folder where you can find the upload.csv file. So just select the upload.csv file and then click this upload button. So once the data set has been uploaded, it will be navigated to the preview part. So now it is loaded into the preview part where you can see the data set details. And this is the data set that we have uploaded where you can find the ID, fixed acidity, volatile acidity, citric acid, residual sugar, chlorides, free sulfur dioxide, total sulfur dioxide, density, pH, sulfates, alcohol, quality and style of it. And this has been displayed here. And now you can scroll down till the end of the page. So 
so where you can find the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part so which consists around 6497 data set records so now just click this click to try not test button And after some time you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the prediction part where you need to enter the test cases to find the quality of the wine so first let me show you with a few cases with the first case with the act fixed as acidity as 8.9 volatile acidity as 0.62 citric acid as 0.18 residual sugar as 3.8 chlorides as 0.176 free sulfur dioxide as 52 total sulfur dioxide as 145 density as 0.9986 pH value as 3.16 sulfates as 0.88 alcohol as 9.2 style as red and let us check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button so here the prediction result is bad so now let me click the prediction menu again to enter the other case so let me enter the fixed acidity as 8.5 volatile acidity as 0.28 citric acid as 0.56 residual sugar as 1.8 chlorides as 0.092 free sulfur dioxide as 35 total sulfur dioxide as 103 density as 0.9969 pH value as 0.3.3 and sulfates as 0.75 alcohol as 10.5 and style as red and then let me click this prediction button and the prediction result is good for this case and again let me go to the prediction menu to enter the other case with the fixed as it is 6 volatile as it is 0.34 citric acid as 0.66 residual sugar with 15.9 chlorides as 0.046 free sulfur dioxide as 26 total sulfur dioxide as 164 density as 0.9979 pH value as 3.14 sulfates as 0.5 alcohol as 8.8 .8, and the style is this type white and let me click the prediction button and you can see the prediction result is good for this case and final let me show you the final case with by clicking the prediction menu let me enter the fixer acidity as 9.8 volatile acidity as 0.36 citric acid as 0.46 residual sugar as 10.5 chlorides as 0.038 free sulfur dioxide as 4 total sulfur dioxide as 83 density as 0.9956 pH value is 2.89 sulfates as 0.3 alcohol is 10.1 style is white let me click this predict button and the prediction result is bad for this case so for the scenario I have shown you with the two cases on good and two cases on bad you can check with the other cases from the test data or from the data set that we have trained up with so now let me move to the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis menu and you can see the performance analysis parameter called uh, recall value f1 value and precision value with for the good and the bad case and you can find the confusion matrix for the true and the predicted labels for it and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project as mentioned earlier so just we have predicted depicted this chart with the data set that we have trained up with which consists of 15 percentage of bad red wine and 
35 percentage of good red wine data and 35 percentage of bad white wine data and 15 percentage of good white wine data and let me log out and this is all about the project uh, machine learning based approach for wine quality prediction and thank you all for watching